Welcome back, everybody, to the Miami Marlins franchise on here on MLB The Show. And it is time, opening day time. So what we're going to do is jump into these games here. First opening day on the road, and then we will play our opening day game at home as well. So this road game taking on the Phillies. Time for season number two to start and try to get this Marlins team back to the playoffs. I think our offseason was pretty good. With the addition of Corey Seager securing up our bullpen and our rotation. And if everything plans out and everything works out, this team could be a very good ball team. Especially with the young guys we got. And there's one of them, Jose Devers, to start off this season against Aaron Nola. First pitch is going to be called for a strike there on the outside. And now an 0-2 count here to Devers. And the pitch, he rips this one over to first base. Nice stop. And that will be out number one. So like I said, this team... Last year, obviously, did not turn out very good, but we didn't really expect anything. But looking at this lineup with Devers up top there, and you got this guy, Corey Seager, at number three. Aguilar gives you the power. I think Cooper and Anderson could give you some really good bats. This could be a very, very good lineup, but it doesn't work out there for Seager's first at bat as a Marlin as he strikes out looking, and now we head into the bottom half of the first as here comes Sandy Alcantara. And he's going to get a fly out here. He had a pretty productive season last year. So this rotation is going to be interesting. Bringing in Corey Kluber. You know, hopefully Trevor Rogers can have, you know, a bounce back season. And taking on this Philly lineup. Very good. Harper, Hoskins, D.D. Gregoris. I mean, they got some guys that can really bash the ball for sure. And hopefully we can shut them down. But yeah, if the rotation can do well. We have a really good enough bullpen. Uh, you know, getting Sir Anthony Dominguez in the Rule 5 draft. Uh, I think we can possibly have a pretty decent bullpen, but hopefully if our rotation is good enough, we won't even have to use them. As Sandy here in the second inning gets a swinging strike out there, his second of the ball game, and this is going to bring up D.D. Gregorius, obviously a dangerous hitter. A lot of power, 3-2 pitch to him, and he swings through on the sinker. So strike three, already the third K of the game as we head in now to the top of the third and here comes in Carcion. So he's going to play the full season this year. Just got a month of September last year. That's it. But, man, can't wait to see what this youngster can do as he rips this one over to second. Not too much there. Did have some decent contact on that one. But, man, a full season of him. Seeing what type of power he brings to this lineup. That is going to be awesome. And hopefully Jazz Chisholm can really, you know, step up his game. Obviously last year maybe not what we wanted. But, man, if he can start to hit well. There's just so much potential with this team, and that's what's definitely exciting about this season. As we head in now to the fourth inning, and neither team has a hit yet. So both pitchers are just dealing so far. As Rojas comes to the plate, he's going to ground this one over to third base, and this one's thrown away. Obviously not a hit. That's going to be an E5. That'll move him over to second base. But uh, that's the first base runner of the ball game for either team. As you can see, just a routine play and just overthrows it big time. So now Seager, with one down, has a chance to get the first hit of the ball game and first run on the board this season. Pitch to him, 0-2. Had a pitch to hit, cannot get it through. That hanging curveball was just waiting there. Too much in front of it and grounds it out. Now it's going to be up to Aguilar to come through here with a two-out hit to try to get us on the board. So one-two pitch to Aguilar. He'll take the curveball outside for a ball and works it to a two-two count. Pitch there, kind of the same thing. Had a pitch to be able to hit the hanging curveball. Can't get it done. Out number three, and we head to the bottom half of the fourth as Sandy is wheeling and dealing as well as Ray goes down for the K. And that's his fourth K of this ball game of a two away. That'll bring up Bryce Harper, and he's at a two-two count. Pitch. Up the middle, but the shift is right there. Not a big deal. Out number three, and the Phillies haven't got themselves a base runner at all either. As now we head into the bottom half of the fifth. Can anybody get anything going? Ground ball over to first base. Got it easily is Devers. And that's going to be the fifth. So we're going to head into the sixth inning. Nobody has anything so far. Both pitchers throwing no hitters here into the sixth inning as we start. So this is a pretty crazy opening day. And that's really, I mean, it's still not a hit, obviously, but another base runner, and Carcione's going to draw the walk, so good at bat there. And here comes Jazz to the plate. Down the line, and there we go! There is our first hit of this season. It's just going to be a base hit, but Carcione moves up to second base. We got one. Nobody down here in this sixth inning. Two on. 
And that's going to bring the uh, Devers up the heart of the lineup. Here we go. We'll get this one away. So let's see if Devers can come up with a good hit here. 3-1 count. He's going to hit this one, and that might be two. Over to second, over to first base, and it is double play. That could be an inning killer as it's going to be up to Rojas to come away with a base hit here to try to get the first run on the board. And he's going to rip this one, but right to shortstop over to first, and that is out number three. So the best inning we had going for us. Can't come through, but at least we did get a hit. That is one thing as Scott Kingery is trying to get a hit for this Phillies team. Tries to lay down a bunt unsuccessfully, and this time it's almost like a bunt. That's going to be a fair ball, but what a play by Devers. At first base, getting him, and the no-hitter still alive here, but, man, that was close. Definitely had to play that one. That wasn't going foul whatsoever. Great arm over to first, got him. And that's going to bring up Gene Shakura. And he's going to swing through on the slider. And the Phillies hitless through six. It doesn't really matter if we're throwing a no-hitter because we don't have anything really at all either. As Seager swings through the pitch for the strikeout. Not a very good debut for Corey Seager, but that's all right. You know the quality you're going to get for the whole season. As here comes Aguilar, and there we go! Finally here in the seventh inning, Jesus Aguilar drills. A home run in the left field, and that is going to be our first run of the ball game. And the way we are pitching, one run might about do it. Man, he absolutely crushed that one, exactly what we needed. We'll take this 1-0 lead. And now with Alfaro up, 1-2 pitch, man on first base, he swings through. So that is all we would get in the seventh. But we'll see if that's going to be enough. Now it's going to be up to Sandy to try to finish this one off. He's up to 89 pitches, so maybe he won't be able to finish it, but... Get through this eighth and seventh inning, get to the eighth and ninth, let our bullpen do some work as that is going to be up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit. The no hitter is over here with one away in this seventh inning. And now just trying to keep this intact. And maybe that will be the last batter for him as he's pitched one heck of a debut here. And that'll be it as we'll bring in Daniel Norris, free agent pickup, only lefty really in the bullpen. And he comes up to face a couple of lefties. So here's Bryce Harper, obviously dangerous hitter. One one count, one away. And he hits this one, and that's going to be luckily foul ball. So now 1-2 count here to Harper, and he swings on the slider to the outside. And there's a big-time strikeout as Reese Hoskins comes to the plate. 1-2 pitch to him. He rips this one, and that's going to get down for a base hit. And they're going to move over to third base. Throw from Encarcion just going to be a little bit off. So first, second now, second and third. That's great base running there by Hoskins. Moves into second, so you got two runners in scoring position. Here comes Didi Gregorius, and hopefully Norris. But that lefty-lefty matchup can do his work. First pitch here to Gregorius, and he'll take the strike right there. So now it's a 1-2 count. Can we get a K and get out of this inning as he flies this one out? And Carcian over, and he will get it for out number three. We'll retain the 1-0 lead, get out of that jam, and let's head to the top half of the eighth and try to add some more runs on the board. As Encarcion coming to the plate. And Encarcion gets a hold of this one. This one deep into center field. And it's going to stop right above the warning track. Thought it might have a chance to get out of here. But it does not. And you can see Aaron Nola. I mean, just really one mistake. That's it. And just the way Sandy's been pitching, it doesn't really matter. So, still one nothing ball game. Devers up with two away. He's going to ground this one over. Easy play over to first base. And we'll head to the bottom half of the eighth inning. And uh, try to keep this 1-0 lead as Dylan Florio comes to the mound. 19 saves last year, now more of a setup guy with uh, Mark Melanson here. But hopefully he can shut it down as that's a nice pitch. Sinker down low, strike three. And now Scott Kingery coming to the plate here with two away, trying to keep this inning alive. Grounds this one over. Nice play by Devers, keep it in front of him. Over to first base, out number three. And we'll head to the ninth inning with this 1-0 lead. With two away in the ninth, it's going to be up to be Aguilar to try to keep this alive, but he's going to pop this one back to the catcher. Easy play, one, two, three, nine for the Phillies. We'll head to the bottom of the ninth, and here comes Mark Melanson. Free agent pickup. He won reliever of the year last year with 50 saves. And see if he can bring that here and save this one nothing ball game as Gene Segura goes down swinging for out number one of the ninth. And you'll see a lot more of this early on in the season. Pitchers definitely seem to dominate as the hitters are just trying to get into a bit of a rhythm. As it's a 1-2 pitch now here to Corey Ray. 
Pitch from Melanson, and he gets a fly ball. This one's deep. This one is going to be close right at the top of the wall, and it's off the wall, so it won't be out of here. But Ray will be on his way to second base, and the Phillies, with one away here in this ninth inning, have the tying run at second base in scoring position, and it's the uh, heart of the order up. So here comes Alec Baum. Chance to base hit, maybe score a run. This one's hit deep. Going back, and it will be caught. So move over to third base is Ray, and it'll be two away. And now it will need a hit to try to tie this ball game up and maybe one swing away to winning this game as here comes Bryce Harper. 0 for 3 so far in this ball game. Pitch from a Lance and outside. Gets the nice cutter on the outside for the strike. 0-2 count now to Harper. Harper grounds this one over to first base. Seeger up with it. Over to Melanson, and there you go. That is going to be the ball game. A 1-0 opening day here in Philadelphia with a victory, and not a whole lot going on in this ball game as the pitchers absolutely dominated. Only six total hits and just that one solo home run from Jesus Aguilar. That is it. Sandy Alcantara pitched very well. Six and a third. He only allowed that one hit. That is it. Six strikeouts. He just ran out of gas and, you know, let our bullpen do the work. But now what we're going to do is we're going to send the rest through, through that series in the Mets series. And we're going to go to Atlanta and take on the Braves in our home opener. And let's get that one going right now. So our home opener here in Miami taking on the Atlanta Braves, one of the obviously top teams in our division. We're going to have to try to take down and here we go as we got Pablo Lopez on the mound. He had one start so far, and it was a pretty good one. Eight innings, didn't get the win, so only six hits allowed. And let's see if we can have another good start here against Atlanta. I'm loving these retro uniforms of these Marlins team. Outstanding. As here we start the ball game, uh, and Simmons is going to take this one deep. And luckily for us, it is foul. As we'll take that one. 0 1 pitch now to Simmons. Grounds this one over to shortstop. Got it easily over to first base. And there's the first out here in our opening day game at home. And let's take a look at this Atlanta Braves lineup. Obviously, a great lineup. Simmons, Albus, Acuna Jr., Freddie Freeman, Austin Riley. I mean, they had Omar Mazar, who's a pretty good power lefty. So this is a very talented team, no doubt about it. 0 2 pitch, and there's strike three to Ozzy Albies. He goes down. First K of the game for Lopez, and here comes Ronald Lacuna Jr. And what a start. Three home runs, nine RBI in this first week. He is absolutely crushing the ball, and he swings through on the fastball for strike three. Good start for Lopez, two Ks. And you can see the week it's been for Jose Devers. Not the same, only batting 48 as we take on Max Freed. And so we'll get the fastball up high. And works it to a 3-2 count here in the first batter. And Freed with the pitch. And he's going to get him on the low fastball. That was close, but he takes it strike three. And you can see the averages for us. Not very good. Garrett Cooper about the only one hitting so far for anything in this first week of the season. But, yeah, we're only a weekend. Not that big of a deal. As Corey Seager comes through for a base hit. And that's what you want to see. See a lot more of that. And, like I said, I expect a lot more of that on the season. I don't think he's going to. You know, just go away, no doubt about it. He'll just have a little bit of a adjustment period, you know, playing in a certain ballpark, playing with some teams, you know, stuff like that. But then from there on, he is good to go as Aguilar hit one in that opening day game, and he hits one here this time with a man on. It's a two-run shot, and we'll take a 2 nothing lead. We're not going to wait to the seventh inning to finally get something on the board. We'll do it right here early on in this first inning. And, uh... Hopefully we can see uh, the production a little bit more in this ball game. But look at the look at Austin Riley. Speaking of production, he is killing it too. Two home runs for him. Yeah, he's batting 435 here early on. One two pitch now from Lopez, and he gets him on the change up on the outside corner. Good luck hitting that pitch. That's just not going to work out at all. As now we'll head into the third inning. As Lopez wheeling and dealing here so far. Two two pitch now to Omar Mazzara, and he will hit this one, and it's going to be a fair ball. Wow, that one started foul with the spin. It goes fair, and there's your first hit for Atlanta, and now that's going to be back-to-back -back hits to start off this third inning. So first and second base as the ball gets away, but Devers will be over for it. So Braves start off this third inning very good, 2-1, nobody down. 
as now there's one down, still first and second, so let's see if Lopez can possibly get out of this jam, maybe get a double play ball, and the pitch, and this one's ripped, that's going to be a base hit, let's see if they send him home, they will throw to the plate, is going to be just a bit late, and he'll be in there to score as Atlanta will get on the board and cut this back to a one-run ball game. As Albies comes to the plate, he'll take the sinker low. So still first and third. Fly ball would get another run in. One-two count now here to Albies. Pitch from Lopez, and this is a fly ball. Will it be deep enough? And I think it probably will. Up with the throw to the plate, cut it off, and he is in there. So the Braves have tied this ball game up here in the third inning, two apiece, and still not out of this one yet, and there we go, swing and a miss, strike three, so the Braves do get two to tie it up, and we're back to a even ball game, 2-2, as we head to the bottom half of the third inning, two away, 2-2 two -two count, and man, strike three on the outside corner to Rojas, that was close, maybe didn't like that call too much, and that's it for us to third as we go now to the fourth inning. As Lopez, man on first base, 0-2 count here to Numar Mazzara. As that one's going to get through for a base hit. So two for two for him and really some CNI singles. And now man in scoring position with two down here in this fourth inning. And brings up Garcia who singled earlier. But this one hit right back to Lopez, out number three. As we stop that little rally in the fourth for the Braves to keep this at a 2-2 ball game as Garrett Cooper with two away in this fourth inning trying to get something rolling here as Max Freed ever since that home run from Aguilar has been pitching very well as this one is going to get down fair ball that one should get to the wall Cooper will be on his way to second base and this one's going to be close he's in there just in there great job sliding away from the tag and now it can Jazz Chisholm come up with a base hit to score Garrett Cooper and retain the, regain the lead here in this fourth inning. One-two pitch. Hits this one down the line. That's going to be easy play over to first base. Out number three. Can't get it there in the fourth, and we'll head to the fifth inning. Simmons comes up to the plate, and he swings through on the fastball. Strike three, Lopez. Ninth K already in this ballgame. We're not even through five innings, and he gets strikeout number ten. Man, 10 Ks for Lopez, and we're still tied up at two. Look at that fast. Look at that changeup pitch right there, swinging through it. And now let's head to the sixth inning. Our offense still can't do it, but Lopez still dealing over to first base. Out number three easily, and that is it for the sixth inning. Still tied at two, and let's go to the bottom half of the sixth as here comes Corey Seager with two away, trying to continue this sixth inning as Seager's going to foul away the curveball. 0-2 pitch here from Max Freed. Seager hits this one, and that is going to be an easy ground ball play. Out number three, end of the sixth inning, and we head into the seventh inning. Tied up at two still as Lopez still going, but this time Garcia drills this one deep, looking up, and it is gone. So the Braves are going to take the lead here, three to two, as Garcia comes up with a huge hit, and... Right, we're going to leave Lopez in this ball game. See if he can finish this seventh inning. Two away as this one's hit hard. This one's deep. And it is going to be off the glove. I thought that was going to be caught. It is not. Over on his way to third base. And the Braves will have more opportunity here. Is Pache. I th look at this one. I thought for sure this one was going to be caught. Going back, at first it looked like it might be out of here depending how far you know, the ball travel, but man, cannot come away with it, and now you have a man on third, two away, Simmons coming to the plate, and Simmons up the middle, over to first, can we get it out of this, and we can, for out number three, so the solo home run for Garcia is going to be it, but the Braves take the lead, three to two, we head to the bottom half of the seventh inning, trying to get this offense going, the last time we had anything, it was this guy right here, Jesus Aguilar, but he pops this one up, had a chance. That slider is just sitting there, right there to get crushed. Cannot get it. And that's going to start off the seventh inning with an out. So Garrett Cooper coming to the plate, trying to get another double on the board. As Cooper hits this one deep, will it be enough? No, it's just going to be a fly ball out, out number two here in this seventh. So nothing so far. We need something. Can Jazz Chisholm start off a nice rally to get back into this ball, get at least... Maybe a tie up, maybe a lead. We'll see as he takes the walk, and that's what you want to see. Is our Carcion's going to be coming to the plate 
And the Braves are going to make a pitching change as they go to Chris Martin out of the bullpen. Our Carson so far 0 for 2 in this ball game, only 3 for 19 to start off this season. 0-1 pitch to him. Hits this one, ground ball, easy play over to first base. And that is it for the seventh. So nothing so far, and now we got to go to the bullpen. And Sir Anthony Dominguez comes in. Only his second appearance here so far. You can see that infinite ERA, so that's not good. Let up a couple runs maybe and uh, did not get out of there with an out as he draws the walk first. So man on first base for Acuna as Acuna is going to take the outside change at first strike and now works it to a 3-2 count. Pitch, swinging through on the slider, his third K of the ball game. And now can we get a ground ball maybe to get a double play ball here, but he'll get a strike three on Freddie Freeman. Two straight strikeouts at the leadoff walk. And now Austin Riley coming to the plate. First pitch to him. Riley grounds this one over to first base. Should be an easy play. And there we go for Aguilar out number three. And we'll head to the bottom half of the eighth inning. As Devers now with two away. Trying to keep this alive. 2-2 pitch now to Devers. And he hits this one. That's going to be a base hit. That'll get in there. And with Devers speed. If you can just get a hit maybe to the gap to the wall. He can definitely score all the way from first base. And hopefully we can get that from Rojas. 0-1 pitch to Rojas. And he hits this one up the middle. Pitcher's got it easily. Out number three. And nothing there. So we'll head to the ninth inning. John Curtis comes in to try to shut this one down. Keep this at a 3-2 ball game. As this one's ripped and that's going to be a fair ball. And that is going to be trouble for sure. Gets to the wall. And then misplayed in right field. He's going to stay there at second base. So it doesn't lead to a triple but a leadoff double to start off this ninth. And here comes Nomar Mazzara. He's had a very good game. Two for three. And the pitch to him. He swings her on the fastball for strike three. Nice pitch there from Curtis. As here comes the home run man, Garcia. And he bloops this one. And it's going to get down. What a game for Garcia. The throw from Encarcion going to be off. The Braves will add another one here in the ninth inning. What a game he has had. Home run. Single. And he's got the lead here for them, 4-2. to two. Now he's going to try to steal second base, and he's in there. The great game for Garcia just continues, and now gets himself into scoring position here. But that's going to be a ground ball back to the pitcher, and it's going to be misplayed. Thought he would try to get him out of third base. First, it's he's safe at first. And now we got first and third, where it should have been just maybe third base and two away as Simmons comes to the plate. And now fly ball can get another run. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. Fly ball deep into left field. That'll be enough. So the misplay where we should have just went to first base. Just a bad decision there. Puts this back up to now a three-run ball game as the Braves adding two more here in that ninth inning. And now as we head to the bottom half of the ninth, Kirby Yates is going to come in to try to close this one out with a 5-2 to two lead. And first up is going to be Corey Seager as he grounds this one over to first base. Easy play for Freddie Freeman. So out number one here in this ninth inning. And that's going to bring up Jesus Aguilar. He's the only guy we had going so far. Just a two-run home run in that first inning. And that is it. Pitch to uh, Aguilar. Crushes this one deep. This one's going to be way back there in left center field. It's going to get out of here. So he is the guy responsible for all our runs in this ball game. Solo shot, keeping this game going. We're back to a two-run lead. That's Garrett Cooper coming to the plate. 0 one pitch to Garrett Cooper as he rips this one. Just a hanging slider. This one back to the wall, and this one's going to go. So back-to-back -back home runs here in this ninth inning, and it's a 5-4 to four lead. As Jazz Chisholm will come to the plate, and now can we... Maybe get back to back to back to tie this ball game up again. We'll see. As they go to the bullpen, Will Smith comes in. He's going to have to try to get this save. As here comes Jazz Chisholm to the plate. 0 for 2 in this ball game. Rips this one. Base hit. So the tying run on. Go ahead. Winning run at home with one away here in this ninth inning. And here comes Encarcion. Can the youngster come through with a big time hit? Nothing so far in this ball game. One, two, count. He swings through on the high fastball for strike three. And now it's going to be up to Alfaro, 0 for 3 in this ball game, to try to keep us alive as he takes the fastball up high. 1 0 count now to Alfaro. Hits this one. Ground ball over to third base, but it's thrown away trying to get the force at second. 
And so just head back to second. Don't want to get thrown at third, but the game continues. Now we got a man in scoring position. That was an easy play. Should have just went to first base. He had plenty of time. Alfaro is not the quickest guy, obviously. He had plenty of time, but just makes a bad decision. And it's going to be up to John Birdie to come through. But no, we're in a pinch hit. Bring Duvall because this dude has 98 power versus lefties. So if he can get a hold of one, this ball game would be over just like that. He fouls that one away. 2-2 pitch here to Duvall. And he takes the pitch outside. Works it to a 3 0 count. That's going to allow the runners to move. Here we go. And he pops it up back to the catcher. Looks like he'll have enough room. And he does. And that is your ball game. Come up a run short. And that play where we should have went to first base comes back to bite us there. And we lose 5 to 4 here in our home opener. As really, Paulo Lopez, not a bad game. Seven hit, seven innings, did allow seven hits, a couple runs, but 11 Ks. And just the offense, just Max Free, give him credit. He, he pitched very well, shut us down after that first inning. We couldn't do a whole lot. And that's really what we got to do. This offense, I, yeah, we're only a week in. So, you know, it's not like, hey, it's what a disappointment this lineup has been. But you can see just early on, Hopefully it'll improve, and I think it definitely will. This lineup's got a lot of potential, a lot of good hitters on the ball club, and I think we'll be fine. Uh, you can see just, you know, we'll see. As for the minor league, Dominique Zayer, our first overall pick, that's where I think we're going to next time. We're going to go to the minors. We're going to see him. He's only 19 years old, has so much potential. But this AAA team, the lineup is crazy. We got a lot of guys down here that I really want to see. We got Mason Wynn, Sierra, uh, you obviously have Austin Wells, J.J. Bladé, no doubt about it. Probably still our top prospect. Connor Scott. There's so many guys down here I really want to see. Even Jesus Sanchez that I can't wait to get into a game with that AAA team because it is going to be fun for sure because you got at least two to three guys that could be in the future of this team. Maybe even next year we will see. But that's going to do it for this one. We go one for one in the opening day games. Can't complain about that. And hopefully this season will turn out pretty good and we can be a very, very competitive ball team. But that's yeah, going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And if you could please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.